I think, and this is going to be a very political answer because disclaimer, I love Neville Longbottom and I get a little bit emotional anytime I talk about him, but Neville Longbottom was the chosen one for his lived experience. Because with Neville, basically, readers are asking the question, what if Harry wasn't attractive and athletic and cool and famous? What if Harry was just a normal kid who had a traumatic past? And what I think is significant about Neville is that while Harry is out leading Ron and Hermione on a very dangerous mission, Neville is back in the castle leading a literal army. He was risking torture every single day. He was fighting and being the spark and the life of the war back at the castle in order to facilitate Ron and Hermione and Harry coming back and winning the Battle of Hogwarts. I personally believe that the battle couldn't have been won and the Horcruxes could not have been defeated if it wasn't for Neville Longbottom and his kindness and his leadership that he grew through all the bullying and suffering that he experienced.